Hello, teacher. De, según yo, ya eran las ocho en punto. No, it's three minutes too late. But it's okay. It's fine that you are connected pretty early. I like that. Awesome. Yes, I'm connecting also with another device to the in a meeting in my uh, site. And so I say, no, I'm going to get ready for with my computer to the class in order to not miss it, but I didn't realize it was early. I didn't realize it was that early. That early, okay, I didn't realize. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how are you? How's everything? Fine, thank you. Still working hard because um, continue, I keeping my goal uh, to reach my goal, uh, revenue goal until the latest on December 18th. So December 18th. December 18th. So I'm um, yes, or could be Friday. Oh, I didn't realize it was Saturday. It is Saturday. Yeah, the 17th is our last day of classes. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. But I, yeah. And my birthday also. Oh really? Oh, congratulations. Yeah. I didn't know. No, ah, no, I'm getting old. That's not something to celebrate. <laughs> No, I don't think you're too old. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna turn uh, 42. Oh no, you are so young. Oh, Almost yeah, my whatever. age. <laughs> how old are you? Uh, how, how many do you think I am? Oh, I'm not good at that. I'm not good <laughs> at that. Never been, don't even ask me. Oh my God, uh, 48. Oh, really? You don't yes, look like exactly. That is the most of the, my friend says that I don't look like that age, but that is my age. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And you're still kicking it. I'm sorry? And you're still here kicking it, so that's cool. Exactly. <laughs> that's my plan. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at Nicolas. He, he turned 53. Yes, that is what he said. And he didn't he's, seem like that age. No, and he's so cool about it. Yes, that's right. Yeah, so yeah. I think that that's going to be my attitude, to be cool about it. Mm -hmm. But also to accept it. Man, I'm getting old. I think that the most important is the attitude. That is the reason look, why. Just look, 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 <laughs> all the white hair. <laughs> is that white? Yep. Look at uh, yes. Oh <laughs> but uh just when you put yourself looking in one side is that you see nah, the white. It's just in because the front, my, huh? it's just because my wife dies it. <laughs> oh my she god. She doesn't want me to be looking that old. And I tell uh. her, look, I'm gonna shave it better. Ah, okay, okay. Do you but she doesn't want do you put color on your hair? My wife dyes it. Oh. But the thing is this, uh, I, I have got uh, white hair since I was like 16, 17. Ah, okay, okay. And now I'm gonna get bald, so I'm gonna shave it off. Oh, it's better you think, right? <laughs> yeah, easier. Hmm. And you just need a little machine and exactly. every other day just- So practical. Yeah. That's not a big problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> so how was it today for you? Uh, I continue looking for those cells. In fact, for tomorrow morning early, I have some appointments with uh, other customers. So I have meetings scheduled and I'm going to call them starting since 7 a.m. my time. Call him to him, call him back to them. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yes, I want to get all the money as much as I can. Yeah, that's cool. That's mm -hmm. really excellent. As the fastest I reach my revenue goal, the better and the peace of mind that I will get the sooner. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, you're going to be calm. You're going to be like, well, I did it. I'm okay. Exactly. exactly. That's nice. That's nice. 
and that oh, will be dear, relaxing. Thank you very much and <laughs> welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Let's see, Jose Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. How are you? Well, you know, here, actually, I just arrived home like uh, 15 minutes ago. Oh, uh, really? Traffic you was You find crazy. a lot of traffic. Traffic was hideous. And you have Howdy. to wait. Hectic. And you have Man. to wait because I guess that the next week going to be crazy, more crazy. No, will yeah. be crazier, right? Yeah, but look, I left uh, 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 um, the roundabout by Colegio Garcia Flamenco at, oh. at 5.15 p.m. Uh -huh. And I arrived home at 7.45. 7.45, wow, was a lot of time to arrive well, right to the house. It was yeah. crazy, as I tell you, man. And that's going to be uh, worse for the next uh, week, I guess. Man, I still look, look at it this way. Next week, I'm going to be coming at this time on Friday. <laughs> The traffic that will be for tomorrow gonna be crazy too. Yeah, man. But tomorrow I'm not going downtown. No way, Jose. Tomorrow I'm staying home. <laughs> you have to make a, a a big plan if you come to the downtown. Yeah, actually, I'll I'll talk to my student next week to see if I can get the start the class like half an hour earlier. Uh -huh. That will help, even though the problem is that my student, she has a French class right before my class. That's going to be complicated for to you. And it's going to be interesting, quite interesting. And uh, the thing is this, that I mean, I cannot interrupt that French class because she's almost finishing. Yeah, yeah. And and she gets two hours of French, and then she gets the three hours with me. So it's complex, complex. Yeah, it's really complex, I know, teacher. Uh, I remember it <clears throat> two or three years ago, I drive since Ilopango Airport to my home. And I drive during four hours, I guess. Yeah. Awesome, right? Wow, nah, teacher. <laughs> that was a well, crazy. And what were you driving? Uh, were you driving stick or automatic? No, stick. That's, I mean, yeah. that's the worst thing because right now my, my, uh, Left my left leg hurts because of the clutch, you know. <laughs> oh, teacher, but I guess that it's better stick than yeah, me too. Automatic. Well, well, I have I have had both, and mm -hmm. I mean, depending on both part, uh, the, like for traffic, automatic mm -hmm. is easier. More yes, relaxed. but if you don't pay any attention, maybe you can crash. Yeah, and but for longer trips, I actually prefer stick because uh -huh. I don't get bored. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I don't get bored because when I was driving automatic, man, driving one hour on a on a highway, man, you get sleepy. <laughs> Yeah, I know, teacher. I know what you say too, because I drive the the both. And but I prefer a stick. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, let's see. Well, let me see. Actually, my whole life I have had just one of the mic. Just one of the mic. Yeah. But it was cool. It was fast. Oh really? Yeah, it was a Honda. Ah. Uh, Okay. Yeah, it was good. It was a good brand. Yeah. 
and I then I had a, a condo, but a stick one, but that one was modified. It was cool. Uh -huh. uh, really? Yeah. It was wow. pretty cool, my friend. No, I, I never uh, uh, modify any car that I drive, but I guess that can be can be faster. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, you start doing little things and little things, and you can get faster and dangerous and ew, and expensive. Yeah, yeah. I guess that it, that's really expensive too. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. But you know, in I mean. The way traffic is nowadays in our country, I mean, it's worthless. Because you are just from a traffic jam to traffic jam all the time. Yeah, that's right. And the hey, downtown is really crazy. Yeah. Welcome to the class, mister. Thank you, teacher. Roxana, Roxane, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm just fine. Thank you. Yeah, you just remind me of a song from who's that singer? Oh, the police were saying, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I'm old. I'm old. Don't expect me to remember something <laughs> new. Okay. So I just remember things from back in the days, you know, pretty far, far, yeah, like that, like that, exactly. <laughs> yes, that far I know. away, that <laughs> far away. How are you? How's everything? Well, everything is okay, teacher. Today I was a busy day. It was at the morning, busy day. At morning, but in the afternoon I have a um, easy day. Mm. I got some three hours after um, 2 p.m. because my best friend got married today for civil. For what? My best friend got married today. Oh, by law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Poor little yeah. thing. So sorry for her. My deepest condolences. <laughs> I know, teacher. The next week she will uh, get married in the church. By church. By church. But in general, today it was a productive day. I take advantage about some uh, audit requirements and I um, was checking some reports and I feel that. Uh, my health is better than the other days because today I can talk better. And that's it, teacher. It, it was a good day. What about you? Uh, well, actually, I was telling Jose Wilfredo that uh, I got a lot of traffic today, almost three hours coming home. Yeah, the traffic was terrible. Hideous. Yeah, Hideous. I, know. I don't know what came. Well, actually, they say that they were, there was an oil spill by Cinco de Noviembre. And I don't know how Boulevard del Ejército was. I was coming by uh, Constitución. Man. Today, uh, I only remember that in the afternoon, a uh, bus, no sé, chocó contra un árbol o algo así, no sé. En el Boulevard del Oh, really? What time? Yeah, around 4 p.m. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the traffic that was terrible. That must have been I interesting. I, I needed to um, drive in near to Alcaldía de Soyapango. Uh-huh. Because my, uh, my best friend uh, got married too close. So uh, I need to... And it to... was your best friend? And yeah. you couldn't tell her, don't do it. Come on, you are not <laughs> a good friend, Roxana. It's not my decision, teacher, you know. So sh you should have got her, you know. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice testigo? With oh, you were a witness of yeah. you. <laughs> Shame on you. Yeah, yeah teacher, it's, it's complex, you know. 
I need to support her because it's my best friend, but I can do a lot of about that. Okay, interesting, what well, interesting. Roxana, welcome to the class. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jose Osorio. Hi teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Um, fine teacher, yeah. yeah. I feel a little tired as usual. Oh, really? Yes, teacher. How was your day? How was everything? What time did you get home? Uh, I, lo I always uh, get home around 5, 15 p.m. Around 5 p.m.? Around 5, 5, 50 p.m. Oh. 15. Well, but you have time to relax and wind a little bit. Yes, teacher. Uh, I always spend time with my family after the, the class. Yeah, well, that's cool. That's cool. And tell me, how's everything at home? What about your kids? Uh, my kids, uh, and, and it's okay, teacher, because uh, uh, both of my, my daughters are in a good health and my wife too and i i am too también okay that's cool that's cool so ready for the class yes it's, i'm ready to learn a lot excellent excellent welcome marta hello marta how are you hi teacher good evening good evening how are you marta I'm good. I'm good, teacher. And you? What about your day? Well, my day was uh, very busy. Um, you know, a lot of work, but I am ready for the class, teacher. Excellent, excellent. That's what I really like to hear, that you're ready for the class. Yeah. That's actually the attitude. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. And tell me, what's for this coming weekend? What you got? Going out with your friends or something? Uh, to, uh, in this moment, I do not have any plan for my weekend, but maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Ah, you will make up something. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's the good thing of being single. Yeah. You can make any sudden decision and it's okay. You don't got to consult nobody. I mean, you are the owner of your own time. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Marta, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Guys, let me get the attendance first, please. Uh, Ambarili Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Eh, present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Osegueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Oops. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. 
Present teacher. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejia. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you, Walter. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, we are business. Let's see, let's see. I still got like five minutes. So let's see, where's. Uh, 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 perfect, Nicolas. Just let me know. Let's see, where is. Hmm. I could have some. Francisco, Francisco Eduardo. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, Francisco. Hello. How's everything? How's your schedule? By the way, I never understand your schedule. <laughs> well, teacher, uh, today I uh, it was my day off. Oh, cool. Uh, what about yes, tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow uh, I start in the, in the morning. But uh, oh. I... <laughs> That's the, show, the the most difficult shift for me. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. I, well, it will be for me. It will be terrible. I mean, with being up that early in the day, man. That's not healthy for me. Yes, teacher. Uh, so, how was your day? What did you do? Uh, well, teacher, uh, I just was fine. Uh, and today I was a, a busy day, uh, but in general, uh, I'm a good teacher. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's actually excellent. So, tomorrow you're going to start working at what, 6, right? Yes, teacher, 6, 6 a.m. Oh, so you must be up around four. Uh, sorry, teacher, I, I don't listen to. So you must be up around four, right? Um, no, teacher, I don't understand. <laughs> you wake up around four a.m. Ah, yes, teacher, uh, four four a.m. Okay. Now, the way I said it the first time was like this. I said, you'll be up around four. You'll be up. Yeah. Oh. Yes, teacher. Yeah, pretty early, man. Well, <laughs> anyway, that's life. Thank you very much, Francisco, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see, Ambar. Hello, Ambar. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? <clears throat> I'm just great, just great. Tell me, how was everything for you today? My day was good because I I could fail some policy, policy, policies. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yes, so it was you. satisfactory for you, right? Exactly. I hope tomorrow will be better than today. That's the attitude. That's the attitude. Yeah, of course. Particularly because this is a, a short month, right? Yes, my my boss told me about the this month is very good. Uh, I don't como decir es bueno hasta el 20 de diciembre. How do you okay. say? Okay, it's good up to December the 20th. It's good up to December 20. Yeah, after that, mm -hmm. 
is very slowly. I think for the holidays, right? Yeah, the, everybody's the people, thinking about Christmas. Exactly, the people uh, always celebrate the holiday with, with the family, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Amber, always a pleasure to have you here. Welcome to the class. Thank you, Titian. Let's see. Sylvia, hello, Sylvia, how are you? Hello, teacher. I am good, thank you. How's everything? How was your day? It was good. Today was my day off. Oh um, my gosh, what did you do? Tell me something good. <laughs> um, in the morning, I just stayed home, but in the afternoon, my best friend came to my house. We had lunch together and then we went to the beach to, to swim and to have a good time. That's nice, that's nice, cool. Yeah, and I feel tired today. I can imagine. Because I was swimming, yeah. I can imagine, yeah, yeah. That's the problem when you go swimming, I mean, you enjoy your time, but afterwards, you feel like man tired yeah you need to sleep <laughs> yeah but don't fall asleep on my class sylvia don't no, do no, it no. <laughs> i will not i promise <laughs> okay perfect welcome to the class thank you, thank you. let's see uh, uh um who else is around walter hello walter how are you hello teacher good evening ah and everything fine teacher how was your day? Yeah. Ah, and day is very, 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 excuse me, how do you say ocupado? Heavy. Busy, busy. Busy, excuse me, excuse me. I don't remember. Okay, I had very easy. Very, very easy teach. No, busy, busy. Busy. Busy means ocupado. Easy means oh. fácil. Fa no, it's busy. Okay, a very busy day. Already. Yeah, a very busy day, yes. And a lot of work. In... Uh, it's possible on Saturday uh, extra hours. Oh, well, but that's more money, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> money. Yeah, overtime yes. means more money. That's cool. Uh, yes, it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, my department. And and, and this day, and this moment, the Christmas is uh, had a lot of work. Well, yeah. And always, and, and always, and all and, year, always. Yeah, and the extra money is good because, I mean, uh, in Christmas we spend a lot. Gastamos. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. We spend a lot. Yeah, we spend yes. a lot of money. Yes. That's not good. Walter, no welcome to the class. Thank you very much for being here. You're welcome, teacher. Mr. Erwin. Hello, Erwin. How are you? Hi, teacher. Uh, very good. Thanks for asking. How was your day? Um, a really, really good day. Oh, really? Funny and uh, well, I had a good time with my family. Uh, we we went out to lunch for lunch, and um, I, I visited to my mechanic, and I I did some appointment for the other mechanic, motorcycle mechanic, and. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, yeah, very productive day, and this is my day off too. Oh, cool! That's nice. That's nice. I mean, it's good that you you could take advantage of the free time you have in order to do all the activities you needed to. Yes, it's necessary to do. Okay, well. Erwin, welcome to the class. 
Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Very well, teacher. Uh, a little, a little tired, and I feel that um, so so because I I got a uh, so flu, I guess. A what? Flu. Oh man, so yes. I'm sorry to hear that. It's pretty uncomfortable. Yes, just yesterday in classes last night. I, I just wishing that the class is finished because I feel so tired. And I I almost sleep slept. Well, and during I classes, felt I, I felt, felt tired. And I felt tired. I almost slept. Oh, uh, I almost fell asleep. I almost fell asleep. Fell asleep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, when you get the flu, the symptoms are so uncomfortable. Yes. But now, right now, I estoy bien empastillado. I feel, I feel ready to receive classes. That's cool. I mean, yeah. That's the only way, you know, the only problem I got is that some things, some of the pills they give you for allergies, they get you a little bit sleepy, right? But a little, a little drink of Chaparro, a friend told that me. That will help. Afternoon. Yes, it is, it is <laughs> good for, for your flu, told me, but nah, I, I, I think that it is, it is Cuentos Urbanos. <laughs> the people all always always told that when when the people uh, get got flu uh, drink a vodka drink a wrong drink a no, tequila no 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 it's no no it's one tequila and five lemons or, <laughs> or, or was it oh. five tequilas or one lemon I don't remember you can try <laughs> both hey, it is okay <laughs> Yeah, you can try both. One of them's gonna work. That's for sure. Excuse me. Try try them both. One of them is going to work. Ah, yes, yes. Yes. But uh, I I guess that I'm going to be uh, um I see. I'm like this? Be like this. Around three days after. I always I got flu teacher. I got flu hardly ever. I remember okay. three years ago. Listen, listen, listen. It's like this. I hardly ever got the flu. Mm. I hardly ever got the flu. Got the flu. Ah, okay. Yes, oh. I remember three years ago. I remember I got it. But I guess. the good thing is that you are here, Mister, and take it easy, relax. It will pass soon. It will pass. Thank you, Wilfredo. Welcome. Okay, teacher. Let's see, let's see. Yes, still. Claudia Ramos, hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. That's good. Tell me, how was your day? Hey, we were missing you yesterday. Where did you go? Sorry, teacher. Um, I was, work, I work in the big city <laughs> and I was, very tired. Oh, I and imagine. Yes, my nephew only sleep 20 minutes all day. Oh, really? 
Yes, in my sorry teacher. But no problem. What about today? But no, today it was it was cool because in the morning I was cleaning and the afternoon I I went to shopping. Oh really? You went shopping? That's cool. Yes, teacher. So you have fun. Sorry? You have fun while shopping. So you with you. I did it. <laughs> okay. Well, Claudia, welcome to the class. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Let's see. Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Today was your day off, right? Yes, today is my day off. I feel tired because yeah, I... because yesterday you were partying all night long, I remember. <laughs> no, teacher, only a dinner with, uh, with my family because it uh, was my um, sister birthday. Uh -huh. Birthday yeah, and remember. went to the restaurant to Chinese food. Mm, that's but cool. the problem is uh, I start late because I finish my schedule at 7 p.m. and very difficult because the platform is saying I have a lot of I had a lot of cases all the week. Uh, mm, I'm very demanding uh, in this moment. I think that is the the. Temporada? Season? Season? Is the season because I have a lot of work all the days and that I can move uh, more early or más temprano? Earlier. Earlier. Uh -huh. Earlier. Yeah. Early. And now I, I start the dinner um, almost late for my. For my culpa? Because <laughs> uh, of me. Because uh, of me. Because of me. And uh, is that the difference? Because uh, when I start the class, I stay in the restaurant and then I. Uh, get uh, to home or go to home for my granny because um don't have it uh, we don't have a car and divide oh. in the different cars and i took me uh, more time it but took it, me. it took me more time but it's good and today um i relaxed i had a relaxing day but I stay in the traffic for a lot of time. It's incredible. <laughs> but I don't know why I have a, a traffic, but it, I spend maybe a one hour and a half and stay in Galeria to my mother house. It took me almost three hours from downtown San Salvador to my house today. So I understand you. Yes, but I don't know. I think that is the season and that the, all the people have a, a bonus a Christmas bonus or bonus Christmas? Yeah, most probably. Uh -huh. Christmas bonus. A Christmas bonus. And um, I don't know. I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> Well, me neither. Don't worry. I haven't get. I haven't gotten mine either. <laughs> but I stay in the house and it's good. I spend okay. a lot of time with my family. 
<laughs> excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Maria Alejandra. William yes. Rosales, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. How's everything, my friend? Uh, very well, my day, teacher. Uh, today, uh, I went out to buy some chicharrones, teacher. Oh, really? How do you say chicharron? Yes. <laughs> chicharron, it's a given name. You don't change it. We don't change it. Uh, uh, this day, uh, este, comí, quería, ¿cómo sería? I, Sorry? Uh, the, uh, this night, uh, Eating pupusa with my family. Oh, really? Let me see. You got me thinking. There's one word that you can use, but mm, you can say pork. Okay. Yeah, pupusa or pork. It's yeah. pork rinds. Pork rinds. Pork rinds. Pork rinds. Sorry. Uh, pupusa or pork rinds. Uh, Eating uh, tonight with my family. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, Excellent. It's one food uh, favorite for me. That's nice. Excellent. Good. Glad you enjoy it. Welcome to the class, Mister. Thank you very much Thank for being here. Okay, let's see. Do I still have Shanira? Hello, Shanira. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. How's everything? Oh, was okay, teacher. Was a good day. Oh, really? So, Roxana wasn't yeah. complaining that much today. Mm, I don't know why. She didn't give you no problems today. Never. Uh, no, with her. I have problem, but not with her. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I have another user, you know. But it was okay. It was a good day. Well, that's good. So glad to hear it. So yeah. glad to hear it. So what time did you finish working today? Around 6 p.m., but I have one case more to finish this night. I'm sorry, would you mind repeating again? Uh, I finished around 6 p.m. But I have one case to finish this now, this night, before the class. Okay. Now, just remember, you can say, when you want people to repeat what they say, you can say, beg your pardon, or you can just say, pardon. Somebody you are speaking and somebody tells you pardon means that that person didn't hear you quite well and is asking you to repeat. Or you can say, run that again by me, please. Just, just the expressions. Janita. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, but I hear you like, eh, kind of bored. Come on, Janita, what's going on? Uh, I feel some tired. Oh, but really? I'm ready for the class teacher, yeah. That's cool, that's cool. Welcome to the class, miss. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Susana. Hello, Susana. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. How's everything? I found thanks, teacher. A good, How was your day? A good, a good day. Damn. So, so. <laughs> it's a normal day, but um, uh, it's day I um, I finish I finish it and um, the work <laughs> and for me decision. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. Excellent. <laughs> Ready for the class, right? <laughs> okay, teacher. 
Thank you and welcome. And let's see, I'm just missing one. I think I'm missing somebody, somebody. Who am I missing? Let's see. Uh, Nicolas, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. everybody. How's everything, my friend? Sorry, teacher. How's everything? How was your day? Ah, well, my day is, hey, for today is, is a good day. Uh, I, I was working in, in, in reports uh, for always a review, review reports. Uh, I, I was, uh, I was haciendo. Doing? I was doing uh, observations, observaciones. Yes. O observation, o obs observation. Uh, at, at all the report for my partners, of oh my, my partners. Guys. Um, so we were checking out your partner's yeah, reports. Uh, checking out a uh, partner's reports and, and prepare um, other, 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 uh, other activities for tomorrow. Okay. Uh, about a with uh, water systems, always water systems in Osicala, the, now Osicala, uh, Ciudad Barrios, uh, San Simón in Morazan, Paul. Yeah, I know those places so far. Far, lejos. Yeah, yeah San Simón is far. Yeah, yes. Yes, San Simon is far, Ciudad Barrios two, two, uh, Perkin, yes. San Fernando. Yeah. It's very son, far. Somewhere, there's a town, little town like this, Nombre de Jesus, I guess. No, that's before. Yeah, Nombre de Jesus, it's, it's in La Unión. Yeah, I, I think know, so. I, 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 think I, so. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but it's far. I mean, all those places you are telling us is like, wow, pretty far. Yeah. For example, the driving bus are, are more or less five or six hours in bus. Uh, by bus. By bus. By bus. By bus. And, and is, is very tired, the, the trajectory. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, Nicolas, thank you very much. So thank glad you, to teacher. have you here. Welcome. Thank you. And Fernando. Hello, Fernando. How are you? Hello, teacher. Um, I'm fine. I'm tired, but fine. And I'm late. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Tell me, how was everything for you today? Uh, really bad. It, in uh, this day, I had to go to the office, and uh, you know the, the trip is very hard. The traffic jams uh, is is everywhere. Yeah, but and that was in the usual as as my home office. <laughs> but uh, the difference was uh, we we no, I had to go. Yes. Yeah, I had to go to, to my office in San Salvador and I woke out very early because uh, I had to, to, to I had to took the bus. To take. I had to take. I had to take. No, pero uh, in pass. Yes, I had because the bear had. Uh, it's in pass. Remember? Had. The hat I had 
Okay, I had to take. Yes, okay. I had to take. I had to take the bus and at at least at five a.m. So I woke up um, or carry <laughs> and and I I arrive I arrive I arrive yeah. at the office at seven seven thirty. So the, in in the morning the traffic was very very no sé muy lleno o sea tráfico fluido. Let's see how do we say that? Yeah, there's an expression for that. Oh my gosh, let me just stop. I'm fighting with a mosquito. Sorry, sorry. You were telling me. Eh, o sea, en el, el tráfico estaba fluido. Where? No, en, Where en was morning. that? No, oh, in the yeah, morning. because in the, morning. in the afternoon, it's being crazy. Yeah, and that's amazing. Crazy. That's fluid. That's fluid traffic. Fluid traffic. Oh, fluid traffic. Oh, okay. See, in the, in the uh, some minutes ago, I just arrived uh, at home because uh, the traffic was was terrible. And I don't come back uh, at bus. I come back at home in, in, in car. Sorry. It's my more, car. So, oh, my car. Sorry. It's faster. Yeah, of course it is. But still, it was uh, not easy. Uh, if, if, if I come back at bus, mm, I think that I don't. <laughs> You I wouldn't be know. home yet. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But I hear the day was was usual. The, the only difference was was that. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Mister. Okay. Guys, let's see. Let's see. Well, today we are going to work with a little bit of grammar, and we are going to in your manuals. Uh, we are working in page number 28. We are going to be working with causative verbs. Okay, when we talk about causative, oh, let me text the word for you. Oops, sorry, my bad. Causative, like this. Okay. Uh, these verbs are used to indicate that one person causes another person to do something for the first person. You get like, what? Okay. One can cause somebody to do something for him or for her by asking, paying, requesting, or forcing a person. Okay. Now, we got... Let me take you this. Uh, okay, let's see. You can do it by asking the person, paying, requesting, or forcing the person to do something, okay? But there are some special verbs that are called causative verbs. Because as I told you, they, they are used specifically for that. Now, in, when we talk about causative verbs, uh, we got verbs like have, get, make. And they follow a very specific structure. And that's what we are going to talk about. It's like, uh, like imagine that, uh, let's see. Imagine that Nicolas gets home and he asks his son to, to help him clean the car, for example. He can say that he uh, got his son to clean his house. Now, here we are going to 
work a little bit with the structures and the structures are very, very interesting. Okay, like uh, I can tell you, well, I had my son clean his bedroom today because it was a mess. I had my son clean. I'm talking about the past. Okay, I had my son clean his bedroom today because it was in a big disorder. It was a mess. Let me show you the, the little explanation, the short explanation we got in the manual. Let me get it for you. Okay, here we go. Okay, dokie. Now, make. As I told you, these verbs are used when we want to state that somebody is asking another person to do something. Like the part, the marketing department makes who? The employees revise goals and metrics every month. The poor identity of the brand made people look for products from different companies. The brand experience offered by Samsung made consumers prefer their mobile phones. Now, look again, the marketing department, in this case, all this is the subject. Make is working as an auxiliary. Then we have the person, the someone, the person who is pushed or asked to do something, okay? The marketing department makes employees revise goals and metrics every month. The poor identity of the brand, this is the whole subject. Look, the poor identity of the brand made who the people look for products from different companies something interesting also is that if you notice when we are using make we have the verb the main verb in the base form what do we mean by the base form look at the difference when we have the infinitive we use the particle to like in the case of when we use get. I can get customers to love our premium services. The project manager said it is not possible to get all those customers to feel identified with the brand in a short time. The advertising events will get people to order products online more often. Now, if you notice, we have make and get, but actually there are more verbs that are used as causally. Like uh, uh, we got have, for example. What is the different dance between make and get? I imagine that's your first question, right? What's the difference between make and get? When do I use make? When do I use get? Okay, it's very simple, look. The verb have and the verb get uh, are almost the same, but make is stronger. Okay, when we say make, we are speaking in a more stronger way than when we say get, okay? Now, when we get make the object of the sentence is not passive, it's active. How so? Let me explain that again by showing you the examples. If you got any question, please feel free to stop me anytime, okay? 
look, I was telling you that make is stronger. The marketing department makes who employees. Now, in this case, is active. Why? Because the verb look revised. Make people look. Make consumers prefer. This is pretty active. Whereas when we use get, I can get customers to love. The project manager said it is not possible to get all those customers to feel. So if you notice the type of verbs used when we use get are like softer. The action is softer. But in this case, when you use make, it's like an obligation. It pushes you, okay? That's the difference. When you use make, you are pushing, okay? Like, uh, guys, I will make you, I will make all of you prepare an extra homework for the end of the course. That's very positive, okay? It's a stronger. I will try to get all of you to speak more by the end of the course. Oh, that's softer, you see? It's pretty soft. I will try to get you to speak more. But when I say, oh, I will make you send me a report at the end of the course. Oh, that's impositive. That's an obligation. You get the difference? Questions? It's guys? like an order. Make, yes, it's more impositive. As I tell you, it's stronger. Yeah, like your boss, your boss can make you do stuff, okay? Like your boss comes and asks you, Amber, you need to make more sales this month. So your boss is making you sell more. Okay? Okay. It's impossible. Now, your boss can get you to sell more by giving you perhaps uh, more specific contacts, people to address to sell your product. In that case, it's software, okay? It's like motivation, help. But when you say make, it's more direct. Questions, guys, please? Hello? Are we cool? Okay, we will see, we will see because Teacher, I'm not please. That sure. Yes, tell me. Please. Do you do you can re, uh, explain with other example? Uh, uh, yeah, Nicolas. Please. Look, look. I will text you and let's do something. Okay. Look. I was telling you, I will make you write a report by the end of the course. In this case, this is strong. You see, I will make you. It's going to be impossible. I will get you to speak more at the end of the course. In this case, it's like a project, but you see it's not that strong. In this case, when we say uh, make, this is pretty strong. Why? Because it's becoming something pretty like impossible. You see? Because when you say, I will make who? You. To do something. I am pushing you to do it. 
when I say, I will get you to speak. In this case, when I say to speak, I am saying something, I mean, I will get you down. This is a promise. In this case, it's mostly a promise. In this case, it's an obligation. Another example. Uh, Roxana will get Janira to help her with her cases. In this case, if you notice, it's most is closer like a promise. Now, look at this. Look at this example. Roxana will make Janira help her by asking her boss to tell her to do it. In this case, you see, it's an imposition. She will make Janita help her. Oh, how? By asking her boss to tell her to do it. I mean, it's going to be a command from her boss. If you notice, in this case, it's an obligation. In this case, it's softer. Am I clear, guys? I have a question, teacher. Yeah, sure. Tell me. Why are you using uh, will in all of the examples? Oh, just because I want. Look, let's see. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Erwin made his co-workers clean the kitchen before the end of their shift. You see Erwin? Erwin made his co-workers clean the kitchen before the end of their chip, past. And what changes is the make, change into may. Why? Because yeah. if you remember the main bear in the base form. Okay. Okay, so what's the difference? Ah, if you say, oh, Erwin got his co-workers to clean the kitchen before the end of their shift. Now, what's the difference? Oh, in this case was because Erwin told them, hey, look guys, uh, we have noticed that the kitchen is being it's pretty dirty and it's not healthy for us to have it like that for the following day. It's easier for us to do it and the previous day. So the next day we don't have to clean that much and we don't have like rats and stuff like that. Oh, you convince them, you see? You, oops, you got it. As, as a, a passive voice. Yes, it's passive. Okay. It's pretty passive. Erwin got and his co-workers to clean the kitchen. More polite too. Yeah, and I mean, you convinced them, you made them do it because they felt compelled to do it. In this case, oh, it was an order. You told, look guys, uh, starting tomorrow, we need to clean the kitchen before the end of the chip. You have to do it, period, okay? You get the difference now? 
Yes, thank you. You're welcome, guys. Okay, let's see. Any other question? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, let's continue then. If you got any question, if something arises, please don't worry. You can ask me later. It's okay. That's just fine. Yes? That's just fine. So let's see. Now, we will see if we got it. Okay, now you have to use the verbs in parentheses to complete the sentences. We are, remember, in the manual, in page number 28, exercise number five. And I'll give you the picture, as I always do, for you to do it. You're going to be working in pairs. It's going to be easy and fast. I think three minutes is enough time. But before we go to the groups, uh, let me get the attendance one more time, please. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Thank you. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Yeah. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Presente, teacher. Present, teacher. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Okay, guys, let me get you in groups. Groups are created. Please jump Present. in. Thank you, Shanira. Let's do the exercise for minutes. Nobody wants to be with you. So sad. Yeah, but this is okay for me. And there's I Susanna. There's Susanna. There's Susanna. Susanna's here. Okay. Hello, Susanna. Sylvia, hello. Oh, there it goes. Seems. Teacher, 
to be honest, I was I was making some orders and uh, I don't listen carefully the the um, the exercise. Okay, yeah, the you exercise. just have to use the verbs in parentheses to complete the sentences. Exercise ah, five, exercise. page twenty-eight. Ah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Francisco. So then we have to use the we have to make okay. This is, marketing helps businesses. Uh, get get customers get to buy products. Perfect. Then number remember three. if you use get, the verb goes in infinity. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Then we uh, we can make we can make people like people like uh huh or products without the right strategy. Then in in in, in this case. Uh, uh, when we use a uh, make this, this the next uh, verb uh, is is not in infinity future. Uh -huh. No, the base form. The base, uh, form. The base form. When when we use a uh, make. Yeah. Look, the base form is like this: the infinitive without the word to. Okay. That's the only difference. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, teacher. Thank you. The number four says on.
So, Ana Claudia, no questions about the topic? Uh, no, I'm trying to, to get a better understanding on this. But yes, I guess it's clear because make is like uh, strong, you say, and I guess using get is like like a request, like a it's a more polite way. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think as depending on the usage, uh, what I need to take care is if the verb it will be using the base form using make. Or when I use get, I need to use the infinitive. That is, I think I need to take care. Yeah, to you know, actually it will come naturally, you know? Mm. It will okay. come naturally. Don't worry about that. I mean, <laughs> okay. Yeah, you make people do something, but you get people to do something. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's as simple as that. You make people do something like, you know, I wish I could make Maria Alejandra to turn on her camera all the classes, but sometimes I get her to do it just when she gets distracted. <laughs> she hadn't noticed, she hadn't realized she had her camera on. <laughs> yes, she realized now. <sighs> yeah, she just did. You see, that's the difference. Yes, I know. Now I got it. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see. Hi, Maria Alejandra. Nice to meet you. Hi, teacher. <laughs> nice to see you again. It's good to get to see you once in a while. Okay, I stay guys. Here, teacher. <laughs> okay, guys, let's do the exercise. Let's do it together. Let's do it fast. So, Maria Alejandra, tell me, tell me, number two, marketing help businesses. And get to buy. Marketing helps business. Get customers, get customers. to buy products. Perfect. Anna Claudia, number three. Okay, is uh, we can make people like our products without the right strategy. Excellent. Walter, number four. Uh, online store gets a very loyal customer and help with advertising events. Okay. Get, they, because it's stores, they get their loyal customers. Help or to help? To help. Perfect. With advertisement, advertising events. Excellent. So let's see, let's see. Claudia, number five. That's Claudia Ramos. The marketing director may people. Yes. How do you pronounce? Vote, vote, vote for the best ads. Excellent. Number six goes to Janira. Janira is being very quiet today. Janira, tell me number six. The businesses make their employees take constant training or make a Marketing. Marketing. Perfect. Excellent, Marketing. guys. Well done. Now, 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 now. Let's Richard, see. I have a question. Yes, tell me. When you use get in the number uh, four, for example, you need yes. to use get or get without On S. stores, get, because you are talking, you are speaking about stores, plural. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Yes. It's same. Same in the in the uh, sense, sentence number two. Marketing helps businesses. Businesses. Plural. Yes, it's plural. Okay. 
if I have a three person, I need to get, I need to use gets, right? Yeah, yeah. Roxana gets her husband to help her clean the house. You see, Roxana gets singular third person. Okay, I, I ask ask her because in the previous um, example. 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 You say Roxana will get. Janira. Oh yeah, that's future. Oh. Will get. That's okay. future. But here is simple present. Okay. 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 I get it. Yes, Fernando. Change sentence number two is to get. No, marketing help businesses get customers to buy. Okay. And my, my question is because in the platform is the exercise 3.7 and the first one is marketing help businesses is there in the right answer according to the platform is to get to buy. Tell me the number of the exercise, please. Uh, 3.7. 3.7, okay. I will check it out tonight. I just took note of it. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, guys, shall I continue? Teacher. Yes? Uh, could you explain again, when do we need to use to, uh, when not? Simple. Uh -huh. Make? doesn't use to get used to because the verb that comes after get is in infinitive infinitive is the verb with the particle to that's the infinitive the base is the same verb without to so whenever you are using make you use the verb that comes after in the base form you don't use the particle to when you use get, the verb that comes after uses, needs the particle to. Okay, got it, thanks. No problem, no problem, you're welcome. Okay, guys, let's continue. This exercise, please, we're going to jump into this vocabulary. Okay. Building vocabulary, you have to match the branding components to their descriptions. Okay, so we have here brand awareness, perceived quality, brand associations, brand loyalty, and proprietary assets. So you are going to match them. Let me get you the picture so you can go back to the groups to work. We're going to do this fast because we need to do exercise seven, exercise eight later, and then I would like us to have a little conversation, some questions I got prepared for you to discuss. So for this exercise, you will have four minutes. Please jump in, let's do it as fast as possible. No. 
Hello. Teacher, Hello. I think uh, the number one brand awareness is um, extend to which customer are familiar with the distinct, distinct, distinctive distinctive qualities of a brand. Yep. Okay. Perceived quality. Perceive, uh, perceive. Perceived quality, I think is the attribute, the attributes, attributes, come on, attributes. Yeah. The attributes of a brand that come into the customer's mind when the brand is discussed. That was what? Number two, you say. Yeah. Number two, the customer's perception of the overall quality or superiority of oh. a product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Association. <laughs> Number three, brand association. Uh, wait. You got Sylvia and Susanna here. The second description, I think, is number four, brand loyalty. Yeah, brand loyalty. Number four, customers consistently. Yeah, customers consistently purchase products for their preferred brands, regardless of the convenience or price. Yeah. Brand loyalty. And then proprietary assets. Proprietary. Proprietary, proprietary assets. Yeah. Is Long a number, word, right? Proprietary. Yeah. Proprietary. Okay. The description number two is, is proprietary, proprietary assets. What, what, it does, what does mean proprietary assets? Okay, in Spanish. Oh my gosh. Uh, activos propietarios. Are you into accountancy? No, I, mm. I, don't oh, really? follow, I don't follow. I don't follow. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, textually is active of proprietaries. Yes. Okay. Uh, how can I explain this? Let me let me just try to get uh, my 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 mind clear. Okay. Uh, When we get to 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 this, we are talking about the is the el propietario de la del dominio del activo. Man, it's accountancy. Let's see, let me try to get it clearer from somebody who is in that. Let's see, who's in accountancy here? Because there you got me like, I understand the, the, the idea, but I, as it's not my area for me to explain it, it's kind of complex. I don't know if you get me. Teacher, uh, in, in, in Spanish, se refiere como a, a 
como comprar acciones, como propietario de acciones. Es un activo. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's el ser propietario de algo. Okay. Pero recuérdense que ese algo en este Probably. caso es un activo, no un pasivo. Ok. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's a complex concept. Let's see. Let's... Yeah. Roxana, is your area administration? Business? Um, no. No. Mm. No. I need somebody from business or accountancy. I don't know how to explain the, the proprietary. Uh, 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 the propriety assets. No sé cómo explicarlo. I understand it. Dígame. That is a. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are? No, el pero podemos hacer algo. El activo propietario. All information that is considered in the realm of intellectual pro property that offers competitive advantage and that it should not be disclosed. Disclose all information. Ay. Yes, son, es la propiedad de activos. But to explain this, man, it's giving me, it's driving me nuts. Sí, eso es, está raro ese tema, teacher. De hecho, nunca lo había escuchado. Ok. It's uh, the patents, the patent application, the trademarks, the copyrights, the licenses. Ok. Mm, ok. So, that's a property asset. Ok. Hmm. Yeah, but it's kind of complex, right? Yes. Uh, Got it. Yeah. Hey, teacher. Explain it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well done, teacher. Well done. Okay. When we talk about proprietary assets, we are talking about the like. Uh, Patents, patents applications, trademarks, uh, domain names, okay? Uh, the rights, the licenses, and the rights that you got to, for the inventions, softwares, okay? Uh, That's okay. a proprietary asset. Okay. You are an um, owner of the copyright. Owners. Yeah. Exactly. Ah, okay. Okay, it's a patente. No sé cómo se patente en inglés. Yeah, but patents are part of that. Ah, okay. They are a part, but not all, because not just the patent, but also the patent application. No. Oh, okay. Your yes. trademark, okay? Even if it's registered or not, it's a property asset. Mm, okay. But the, the concept is, I don't know, for me, it seems like different for me. Yeah. We're going so, to discuss it. Let's see yeah. who is in business. Erwin is in business. Yes, yeah, because uh, the, the description goes. Uh, the description for the manual is, is too uh -huh. simple because in the manual is uh, proprietary assets, all information that is considered in the realm of intellectual property that offers competitive advantage and that it should not be disclosed. You see, like patents, patents, application, they should not be disclosed by people from your company. You made them sign. Okay. Okay, teacher. Erwin, help me out. You're in business, right? I'm sorry? Your area is business, right? Yeah. 
How do you call propriety assets in Spanish? Um, I think it's something like propiedad intelectual. That would be? I think so. Yeah, because I Those know the term in English. Some... That it's, it's related, it's actually related like a, a, to be the owner of the patent, the patent application, the trademarks. In, in my in my in my case, I can um, disclose some recipes uh, yeah, of or course, something like exactly. that. Exactly, uh, exactly. Because uh, it's, that's part of your or your trademark or your company trademark, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. But believe me or not. I understand it in English, but I don't know how to explain it in Spanish. And you just said the, the, the exact word that I was looking for and that I couldn't explain to your classmates. Okay. Propio intellectual, guys. As simple as that. Okay, teacher. But the, the description is, it seems like different for the, for the, the concept. No. Yeah, remember that it's not that the description is different. Remember that when we get into languages, some ideas are described different from English into Spanish. It's not that they are, they are different, it's just the way we describe the ideas, okay? And that happens in all languages. I mean, uh, okay. there are some things like today I was, uh, as I was telling some of your classmates, I was teaching a student, and at the beginning, uh, I I don't remember which word I told her, and she was like switching into languages because she just had finished her French class. So she told me, okay, run that again by me because I'm thinking in French and in French, you express it, those ideas in a whole different way. So that happens with languages. It's not that they are different. It's just that the way in which you express the ideas are different. But let's do the exercise so we get like, clearer on that. Let's see, let's see. Let me share with you guys. Okay. Brand awareness number one goes to Erwin. You're the chosen one. Okay, uh, is the number two customer constantly purchase product from the preferred brands regardless of convenience or price? This is one. What about this? Look, the extent to which consumers are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand. I think that this is brand associations. Because in this case, customers consistently purchase products from their preferred brands, regardless of convenience or price. In this case, we are talking about, look, brand loyalty. Hmm. Okay. And you tell me brand associations. If you see, when we talk about brand associations, we are talking about the attributes of a brand that come into the consumer's mind. You make the association where? In your mind, okay? When the brand okay. is discussed. So in this case, we are getting the idea through the context. Remember, you make the associations where? In your mind. When okay. the brand is discussed, you associate was, the brand I was with the product. Thinking. Okay. And then, guys, that means that perceived quality, oh, that's easy, right? Number, yeah. The, cons the customer's perception of the overall quality or superiority of a product. And then mm -hmm. we got proprietary assets that uh, Erwin helped us with, uh, that for us will be like proper intellectual, all information that is considered in the realm of intellectual property that offers competitive advantage and that it should not be disclosed, okay? It's like uh, you have some classmates here in the class that they work like, uh, let's see. Oh, Janina, you work in IT, right? 
perhaps there are some processes yes, teacher. or there are some processes that belong to the company and that you cannot use like for personal gain or programs or systems, okay? And sometimes when you, well, in the States it's more complex because I don't know how does it work here, but in the States when you sign in with a company, I mean, depending on the company and depending on your contract, like if you are like a programmer, uh, whichever program you create while being on there, the employment of the company belongs to the company. And that's uh, like uh, complex. So that's why you gotta be very careful reading the, the small letter. So remember when we talk about that specific topic, the proprietary, I hate that word, proprietary assets, we are talking about uh, the, the, the propiedad intelectual, okay? Now, in order to get these concepts like clearer, because I know they are not quite clear for us, we're going to do an exercise, okay? Let's see. The manual actually gives us an exercise and it's quite simple. We are going to be talking about uh, national brands, okay? Think of a national brand. Identify the components or their branding strategy. Use the questions below to guide you. Brand awareness. What are some associations to this brand? Are those associations effective to position the brand in the customer's minds when shopping? Perceived quality. Do customers get the brand because of its quality? Is price key to the selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available? Brand associations. Is the brand able to activate associations in the customer's minds? Does the brand create positive feelings in customers? Are there brand extensions in the market? That means more products related to the brand. Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help promote the brand via word of mouth? Are customers satisfied with the brand? Does the brand offer distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors? Okay, so in the exercise, what are we going to do? Choose, pick any national brand. Don't waste time uh, looking for one specifically. Get anyone, okay? Then try to answer, ask and answer these questions working as a group. I just sent you the picture so you can have it. But we are going to do it in groups of, let's see, three members. Okay, you will have five minutes for the exercise. Let's do it, guys. Any question, please raise your hand, give me a holler, I'll be there. Walter. Okay, that's all the teacher. <laughs> no, no, it's just that I guess it's the problem with the connection. Oh, okay, no problem. No problem. Let's see, yeah, because the ladies are out there, but I think they're having problems connecting to the group. Oh, okay. I'll go check it out, okay? Thank you.
Do, do you have another idea? William? Hello. Uh -huh. Which brand do you prefer to talk about? Teacher. Yes. I don't understand. Easy. Choose a brand. Escojan una marca. And from that brand, answer the questions. Y de esa marca, contesten las preguntas. I am pro. 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 Ah. Proposing. Pro, proposing. I am proposing a Pilsener or a Dog. National brands with a good trajectory, and we yeah. can talk about it. Go for the first one, it's good. A Dog? No, the first one. Oh, Pilsener. Yeah, that one. Okay. I'll go for it. Okay. Uh, William. Tell me. Okay. Vamos a coger Pilsener. En, vamos a, a hablar acerca de, o vamos a identificar los componentes de su estrategia de marketing. ¿Cómo se la venden a uno la Pilsener? De eso vamos a hablar. Pero nos vamos a auxiliar con todas las preguntas que están. Eh, I, I don't know. I don't yeah. know if that is... Eh, this company is, is a national brand. Okay, but we can use uh, Salud. Oh, okay, Salud, perfect. Salud Produ. Okay, perfect. Uh, I agree. Okay. Uh, brand awareness. What are some associations to this brand? It's a healthy product. Um, Yeah, salud is uh, uh they they have uh, a healthy product because they have meal, they have cheese, they have um yogurt. Oh. Brand awareness, I think brand awareness it could be a healthy product. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Okay. So what was the product that we choose? We choose uh, Salud, Salud product. Ah, uh, we are talking about the... Milk, cheese. Milk, milk, cheese, okay, perfect. Per. Okay. I think uh, brand awareness about Salud is they, they have a healthy product. One awareness. Uh -huh. Brand awareness. Brand awareness. Who's brand awareness? Brand awareness. What are some association association to this brand? Oh really? Yeah. They are like they gave um the name of that is uh raw materials. Raw material. They provide a raw materials. What is raw raw material? Raw. Materia prima, like me. In this case. Ah, okay. Yeah. They provide the, the raw material for for make uh, the milk and cheese or not. Uh, so other other part of the concept uh, of brand awareness is are those association affected to position to run in the customer mind when shopping? So what mm -hmm. I think that that mean what a customer think mm -hmm. when when they shopping is product. Okay, I guess that uh, Leche Salud, no, the Salud Milk, we can say, we can say Leche Salud because it's a name, yeah. right? Yeah, it's a good, it's yeah, it's, an, it's that Chanel. So yeah. I guess that they need a lot of cows to produce a lot of milk. Uh, 
<laughs> Maybe they buy some milk to an, to another uh, people's to another people. Wrong. Oh. And, and to help you with a with a diet or with your food restriction. Okay. And the next. Perceived quality. The customer get the brand because of its quality, its price, key to the selection of the brand. Is a brand widely available? Hmm. I think that uh, the, the customer get um, the brand because maybe it's um it's in in como en un agregado del gimnasio. Yeah, um, the complement. Because of the quality. What's it talking about. It full, fit fit full. Sorry. Fit what? Fit full. What's that? Well, uh, actually, you know, the whatever fit is in top now. Uh, so some um, gymnasiums? Gyms? Gyms, some gyms. Uh, for example, um, wall gyms in Santa Elena, uh, they have a um, complement because you can pay, you can get a membership, but you, you also can get um, like a diet or feed plan because they have a, a cafeteria, feed cafeteria. Mm. So they yeah, give whatever. and your food. Okay, interesting. You, uh -huh, you can get the membership in the gym and a complement. It's a complete plan. That's cool. Not the best. In my case, uh, maybe I will recommend the, the tapalage with a free Yes, it's a good problem. Thank you for your recommendation. Are customers satisfied with the brand? Hello? Hello? Okay. Okay, let's recall everybody here.
Okay, guys, I was checking the groups, a very interesting exercises, but due to time issues, we are going to cut it short today. And it was very interesting. Actually, it was, well, the grammar was very interesting because it was something new for you. And tomorrow we are going to actually continue with, uh, with this type of verbs, causative verbs. And it's going to be interesting. And tomorrow we got the part two of them. And also we are going to do some conversation, conversation exercise from the manual, a little bit of exercises from the manual, but I will, I also have planned a few minutes for us to have our regular conversation. Just that tomorrow, instead of having it at the beginning of the class, we're going to have it at the end of the class. Because when we start the class tomorrow, we are going to get right into the manual so we can get rid of that vocabulary fast and then try to apply it into a different context, into a more like uh, everyday context, okay? Like real life, something that we really apply it or use it, well, most of the time. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Let's hope all of you can be here uh, the earliest as possible. Let me get just the final attendance, if you don't mind. Ambarili Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Claudia Lisette Ramos Barrientos. Thank you, I just got it. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Arauco. Present. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Okay, guys. Have a good night. A pleasure as usual to have you here. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Take care. Sonida, Sonida, Go, Sylvia. Daniel, you're still busy?
כבר, צריכים לפני שעוד, בסוף תמר,